loudspeakers make us possible to convert electrical energy into acoustic energy. Their working principle can be explained with the Lorentz force, and they are not much different to an electric motor. When the cone moves, it generates a sound wave. This is, it changes the air pressure at a given point in space. This air pressure variation has a speed that depends on the medium. It's the speed of sound, and in the air it's around 340 meters per second. Our ear will perceive that difference in air pressure, and it will hear a sound that corresponds to that sound wave. If the cone moves back and forth at a given frequency, let's say 100 Hz, we will hear a sound of 100 Hz of frequency. A higher frequency will come with a higher pitch sound. So imagine we want to reproduce a perfect 1000 Hz of frequency white noise, we just plug our phone and the speaker will do all the work. But how do we actually make the cone move at this frequency? This is where the Lorentz force has place. Whenever we make an electric current flow through a conductor near a magnetic field, a force will be applied to this conductor. The cable will be accelerated and the direction will depend on the orientation of both the magnetic field and the electric current. Notice how the cable bends as we increase the magnitude of the electric current, and if we change its direction, speakers have a huge magnet, and they have a core to intensify and direct its magnetic field. Notice the magnetic field goes from the North Pole to the South Pole. Let's set a coil and make a current flow through it. Notice the magnetic field is perpendicular to this electric current, hence the Lorentz force applied to the coil will always accelerate it on its own axis. If we apply a sine wave, see how the coil moves up and down. So if we want to create a 100 Hz sound, we just apply a 100 Hz alternating current through the coil. Let's attach the coil to the cone. This is how we generate the movement. But music is generally composed with many sine waves of different magnitudes and different frequencies. So if we sum them and make an electric current equal to the sum of all these sine waves pass through a coil, we will be able to reproduce the music or sound we want. The power of a loudspeaker depends on the voltage we apply to it and the impedance of the coil, but not all is transformed into acoustic power. Most of the power is dissipated into heat, and this is because the impedance of the coil is mostly resistive. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.